this video is a stage for phonics video. We're focusing on three letter CVC words. We're really concentrating on that middle vowel sound. Today it's all about the at word family. We're going to start by listening and hearing the sounds. Then we're going to practice reading some words with the sound in the middle. Then you're going to need your piece of paper and a pen or a, or a pencil or a crayon. We're going to practice writing and spelling some words. And then at the end, we're going to revise some of the words that we've done and we're trying to go really, really fast and build some fluency. All right, tarting is turned all the way on. This is the hearing portion of the lesson. So get ready to listen really carefully for the sounds. So this is a cat. How many words can you think of that rhyme with cat? Words like cat, fat, mat, rat. How many words did you come up with? Now these um, coloured circles, they um, stand for different parts of the sound. So the green circle, that's the first sound. The red circle, that's the last sound. And the yellow circle, that's the sound in the middle. So when we have the word fat, what's the first sound, the green sound? Fat. What's the last sound? T, t, t. And what's the middle sound? Eh, eh, eh. What about the word mat? First sound, mm. Last sound, t. Middle sound, eh, eh, eh. Good. What about the word pat? First sound, p, p, p. Last sound, t, t, t. Middle sound, eh, eh, eh. Now we're up to the robot part of the lesson. Robot arms ready. The first word we're going to robot and then blend together is that. V, at, that. Your turn. V, at. That. Now, what about the word sat? I'll do it and then you can copy. S at sat. Let's go again. S at sat. What about the word chat? Now, this is a tricky one because there's a digraph sound at the beginning. Remember, a digraph is two letters, one sound. And the sound is ch ch. So, in C and H together, make a ch sound. And the word is chat. Ch a chat. Have another go. Ch, a, t, chat. Well done. Now we're up to the reading part of the lesson. So the aim of the game here is to see if you can read the words as fast, if not faster than me. Hat, rat, sat, pat, mat, cat, bat, fat, that, chat, flat, that. All right, take a deep breath. How did you go? Were you faster than me? Now you need to get your piece of paper and pencil and get ready to write and spell some words. Pause the video now if you need some time to do that. When you set up your piece of paper, you want it to look kind of like this. In the top right hand corner, I've drawn just the corner of a sun. And that's where I can collect up all my ticks through the lesson, keep them all in one place. Make sure you don't do your writing too big, unless you've got a whiteboard, then you can rub it out each time you write a word. But we want to make sure we don't run out of space. The first word we're going to practice writing is the word hat. Remember, as you're writing the word, say it slowly and stretch it out so you can hear the sounds. Hat. Do you have an H? Does it look like this? Now I've put the sun up in the corner here because we want to make sure our H is facing the sun. Do you have an A? And do you have a T? Good job. If you've got all of those letters, give yourself a tick in the sun in the corner of your page. Get ready for the next word. The next word is bat. Bat. Write it down now. Do you have a B? Make sure it's facing the sun. Remember bees, b -b butterflies, they like flying towards the sun. Do you have an A? And do you have a T? Good job. If you've got those three letters in that order, give yourself a tick. Also check that your B has a tall stick and your T has a tall stick. The only small letter in this word is the letter A. 
if you've got a tall letter, a short letter, and another tall letter, give yourself a bonus tick in the corner. Get ready for the next word. It's cap. Cap. It's a little bit different to the last one, so make sure you're listening carefully. Cap. Do you have a C? Do you have an A? Do you have a P? Good, if you've got those three letters, give yourself a tick. You can have a bonus tick if your P has a hanging stick that hangs lower than the C and the A. If you look carefully at this word too, you can see all the open mouth shapes or circle shapes of the C, the A, and the circle part of the P. They all sit in a straight line. It's only that hanging part of the, of the P that hangs lower. You can have a bonus tick if you've remembered to do that too. Okay, now we're going to do something a little bit trickier. We're going to try and change the word cap to map. Hmm, I wonder which sound changes. Is it the first sound, the last sound, or the middle sound? Cap, map. Have a go at writing the word map now. Does yours look like this? If you thought it was the first sound, then you're right. The C from k k cap change to m map give yourself a tick now we're going to change map to mop map mop hmm have a go at writing the word mop did you think it was the middle sound because if you did you're right and map it went m a p m a and in mop goes m op. So it's that middle sound that changes. Give yourself a tick if you got that one right. Ready for the next one? Now we're going to change mop to pop. Mop, pop. Which sounds changed? First, last, or middle? Have a go at writing it now. It was the first sound. Pop, p, o. Oh. Pop. Give yourself a tick if you got that one correct. Now it's time to write our silly sentence. So I'm going to say it three times, then you can pause the video while you write the sentence, and then we'll go over the sentence together. So the sentence is, a fat cat sat on a map. A fat cat sat on a map. A fat cat sat on on a map. All right, pause the video and write that down now. Here is our silly sentence. A fat cat sat on a map. Now there are four words in the sentence that we have practiced sounding out today, stretching out and hearing the sounds, and that you can, that you've practiced writing today. So they're fat, 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 cat, Cat sat at sat and map m a p map. If you spelled those four words correctly, give yourselves two ticks in the sun on the corner of your page. Good job. You can have a bonus tick if you started your sentence with a capital A and you finished it with a full stop. Well done. That's, that's part of what makes a super sentence, as well as a super silly sentence. Are you ready to revise the sounds that we've learnt today? Remember, the, the aim of the game here is to go fast, to build fluency, fast and fluid. Hat, chat, rat, that, pat, bat, cat, flat, sat, fat, that, mat. Whew! How did that go? Do you think you're becoming fluid in reading those words? This is a really important skill because if, as you build more fluency, then when you're reading, you're able to read those words almost automatically without thinking about them too hard. And that's what readers do when they read. They don't sound out every single word. 
Okay, so last thing you need to do is to count up all of your ticks in your sun in the corner and write that number down somewhere. Then, next time you do one of these phonics videos, you can see if you can beat that number and get more ticks. Alright, thanks for joining in. See you next time.